Well, I decided to make uh, to make art when I was a child, no? Like all the people, no? The problem is when the people stop to make art, no? All the children start making art. Then, I don't know, it was when I realized I could make something with that. I mean, focusing my life into the art was around uh, 14, 15, more or less. You told me before um, when we talked that you worked for an advertising company making um, photography. So how was this time and where was it? Well, this was in Madrid. Um, I was doing photos for, uh, for events. And well, it was not my working dream, I don't know how to say it. But it was good because I was not working too much. I was earning quite good money. But I was not thinking about ethics or whatever, no? This was absolutely not important. Even if it was not what I wanted to do. I mean, it was some situations that was not comfortable for me, as, for example, taking off uh, people from the photos because they were not this kind of beautiful for this advertising company, you know? Yeah, I mean, in one point, the problem it was that uh, they fired me because I was not part of these beautiful people, no? beauty guys. So it's when uh, it was at the same time that I came here to, to Berlin. So I decided to to focus on my ethics, no, like to say, okay, what is beauty for me? And is when I started to think about this, no. So what do beauty mean for you? It's a good it's a good question, but I don't have a, an answer. What is not beauty, for sure, is uh, the fake models in the advertising campaigns. No, this is not beauty for me at all because it's fake. And I don't know. I don't see beauty in any place over there. No, it's like everything is photoshopped. These lights, is the eye of the photographer, the retouch of everything. No makeup, etc. So I can say what is not beauty. I'm looking for what is beauty for me as well. No? So this was one reason to transform these fake beauties for you? Um, well, I mean, we first we have to decide what or, or think about what is beauty, no? Beauty can be a, a Picasso or can be a Francis Bacon, no? So we have to start to think about what can be beauty and if we are agree with the beauty that uh, the advertiser showed, no? I mostly use this, these advertisings to work because um, I think over there is the where all the society tries to reflect on, no? So they see that and they say, okay, I want to look like this, even if it's not healthy or even if it's uh, dangerous for them in many um, ways, no? So I think to work in the advertising is, um, or to work against advertising in this, in this uh, topic, I think is important, no? So can you tell us a bit more how you work and why maybe, maybe first why you decided to work with the posters and city lights and not uh, with walls like it's usual for street artists? I think in the street art there is a, a bit of confusion now because all the people put everything in the same box, no? Like every, street art can be everything. And I don't consider myself being a street artist, but this is a, a difficult conversation as well because not all the people who is in, the, in this scene think the same as me. So I don't know, this is one, one question, but I have to, to say that I don't define myself as a street artist, but as an artist, no, maybe. Um, also why I don't paint uh, walls and I work with with these posters, um, I already paint walls, no? I mean, I come from the graffiti, and there is a lot of years that I've been painting walls, but now I don't feel like painting walls anymore, or 
I don't feel like now it's the moment to paint walls. I think um, the public art or the art in the public space have a lot of places to discover, no? And this is not a place that is too used, no? Okay. Process is not that easy as, as it looks, no? What I do first is uh, I check the posters I want, I take them, so the, the light box is empty, so this would be a, an intervention already itself. So then I put it in my atelier and I wait for quite a long time. And then I take them, I work on them with solvent, and I put them, I put them back on to another place. No? So I try to change the cities as well. Because this is one way to not make uh, an advertising for them, because I'm using their campaign. So if I let the brand, or if I put it in the same place, or the people remember this, this campaign, it's easy to fail into an advertising. No? And uh, what I'm trying is to make the opposite as well. So, and then, yeah, well, there is a lot of, uh, there is a huge process to check the keys, to know the light boxes, to know the city as well. It's a full process, no? It's not that easy as it looks. And when you work on the posters, um, how you transform the posters? With which materials you work and how long do you work on one poster till it's finished? Well, I work mostly with solvent, uh, different solvents as well. Depends on which one and for what I need it. If I need to take off, uh, um, if I need to let the one part of the poster in white, I use one solvent. If I want to transform with different things, I make my mix mixtures mm -hmm. as well, also with different materials as well, but mostly solvent. And how I work, uh, it's um, it's difficult to explain, no? What I do is, I usually check the posters I have and which one connects more with the feeling I have in that moment. Then I try to work on it, I put music, uh, also, the music is really, really important, no? Because which music? Yeah, this is also the bands, no? Like, can be flamenco, can be uh, rap music, or can be classical music, no? Depends on the on the mood I have. With the music, is is interesting the thing because if I choose the incorrect music, nothing works, no? There is, I cannot flow with with the piece, so I have to be careful with the music I use. No? And what I do mostly is uh, I check the poster for quite a bit of time and if I feel that connection then I start to work. If I don't feel that connection and I start to work it's the same with if I choose the wrong music, no? it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So it's a process, a proce the process of uh, work, of painting, if I could say it like this, um, has to be a moment of flow, no? If I don't flow, the, that work doesn't work. So when you are taking off the posters from the city lights, um, how you decide which place you take? Well, depends on the on the thing I'm gonna make, no? There is two lines in my work. One, one I work um, making a question about what is beauty. So with these ones, I decide about the there is the poster this is the important thing, no? Mostly I use uh, uh, perfume advertising or fashion advertising mostly. But when I make Noad, it's, uh, it's about the place, no? It's about the public space. So I don't care about which poster it is. It's just the space itself, no? So and how long uh, did it take to take off a poster for you now? <laughs> to take off a poster is like around 30 seconds maybe. <laughs> To put it is less than a minute, so I'm, I try to be quite fast, no? But the, the thing is, when you are in the street, as faster as you are, the better, no? Do you still excited when you're doing this? Yeah, sure, sure. Even more now than when I started. Because when I started, it was everything new, it was a little bit of risk over there, because I was not knowing what I was doing. But now, it's the problem is that I made a lot already, so it's not... If I get busted, it's not because of one, it's because of all the, the posters I take off, no? So it's more risky. What are the most reactions of the people when recognizing, okay, here's something new, not the normal or the usual poster? Well, depends on the people, no? There is people that 
uh, they simply not see uh, the intervention because they are used to avoid the advertisings. But there is other people that they check it and they are surprised because they don't recognize what is what is this campaign of what is going on with that poster that is different. No, there is not this canon. So this cuts the, the tension of a lot of people. I've been talking at the beginning with uh, some of them because I was curious to know what they were thinking. And there is a lot of, of opinions. No, with, with art, this is the good thing from art, no? is that all the people have a personal view with what they watch. So there is a lot of opinions, but mostly they uh, they understand what I'm what I'm doing, no? Like questioning all these uh, canons of aesthetics or beauty, but they don't really know what what it is, no? It's just a question. It's all there. They, all the people have this moment of reflection, no? That's that's what I what I'm looking for. Yeah. Let's talk about. Um What's your mission behind your artwork and putting your art into public space? Well, there is um, two lines. Um, one is the political one, like uh, trying to make the people reflect on what is advertising, why there is advertising in the public space, what is good for us and what is bad for us. No? There is this, this is one line, but the, the most important line or thought is uh, is my personal um, reflection or how I grow as a human and how I grow as an artist. So this is these two lines. Well, the mission behind this is uh, to give a moment of peace to the citizen, because the people don't see that as an advertising. Um, the people don't see that as a, an intervention. They see nothing because there is no message over there. The only message is scripted, no? Is the people who are, who knows that this is an intervention see the message, and the message basically is to take off the advertisings, because what the advertisings give us to the to the citizens is is nothing in the end, no? Why there is advertising in the street? Because they want to construct this uh, bus stop. I mean, this is something that, especially in Berlin, you need it as a city. So it has to be the city who put that. The city saves some money because uh, putting the advertising, but what the, the city don't understand is that the advertising create us in one way, no? It's consume. That's it, period. There is nothing else. There is no message, no? If, for example, I would like to make this legal, I could not. Even if I pay for this, I cannot because m the message behind my work is not commercial. So this is uh, exclusive for the advertisers, no? For sell something. And this makes you angry, or? I don't think angry would be the the word. Um, I think it's a. I don't know, it's a responsibility from the citizen, no? Like, there is a lot of people who is making that, no? For example, in, in France, there is a lot of uh, community uh, of Adbusters. And in, uh, what's the name of the city now? In Grenoble, mm -hmm. the major took off everything, no? There is no advertising anymore over there. And they decided to take off one advertising and put one tree. I think this is more important for a city than an advertising, because in the end we are there is a like a war of the from the advertisers to the to the people to catch our attention, no, and to let the the light box in white is to reduce this attention, and also when is when is in white, all the people gonna check the light, and they're gonna think, okay, there is no message here, so it's a point of peace, no? And also they're gonna they're gonna think like, okay, there is a lot of light, no, here. Why? What's going on? Maybe there is a point of reflection over there. Did you ever get a message maybe from someone on your, I don't know, social media profile or via email um, who said thank you to giving me some peace into the advertising jungle? From the Noats 
uh, before I made the um, the Noat Day, the video and the and the Noat project as well. With the Noat project, I had some people writing me, but I have more people writing me because of the of my artworks. No, with this, there is a lot of people who send me emails. Also advertisers, also people who has been working in the advertising industry, and they think the same. Most of them, or some of them, they wrote me like, "Okay, I still working as this, no? Because I have a life and I have to pay my things, and I'm like in a jail, no? I cannot move from here. But I love what you are doing because there is, you are saying what I cannot say, even if I think, no? That." So, um, could you imagine to do some day something for a brand or a label or an advertiser? No way, no, no, no. I don't think I don't think I gonna I gonna give them, even if they pay me a lot of money, I don't gonna give my life to them because of money in the end. No, I can make, I can sell uh, my artwork with this is enough. So why should I sell part of myself to them? No.